movies are great. I love movies. Where the studio is is quite noisy during the day and it can really be distracting. So I listen to old movies that I've watched many times in the past so I know exactly what's going on visually in my mind. And I just have them working while I'm working. They really do give you that feeling. It's like they put you in that place as you're working. I use a different quality of energy on different parts of the painting. Sometimes it, it will be like a very slow stroke and sometimes it's a faster stroke. I want not just the rhythm of the forms within the painting, but also the quality of energy that each of the strokes calls for within us. So as we look at it, you can feel those kinds of energies. If you talk about the tour de force of the painting itself, you really have to start with just the ways in which he applies it. The difference of the mark, the belief in the mark, the belief in the energy of the mark, because that's really sort of important, the whole notion of energy. The mountains I'm presently working on are in Tibet. I think of them as a very spiritual place. And I want that feeling of uplifting to happen with those forms and the quiet that comes with only nature. The really personal ways in which she can treat things and kind of reinvent them in the process so that we see things that we care about because we care about mountains and we care about water and we care about flowers. And then having these things offered up to us in a way that is surprising, that we haven't seen before, that seems to want for us to have our own sense of ownership. And I think that's all part of the kind of immediacy that these images have and, and why, why so many of them seem to make us care. The first portrait was the crucifixion. It was very difficult to paint. It was a very powerful experience, and I actually got a frozen shoulder from painting it. I was frightened in a way while I was painting it because I felt like here was a woman painting the body of Christ. The way I paint is extremely intimate. It's as if your brush is touching each form. So to be that intimate with Christ was a very powerful experience. The Crucifixion, which is one of the early ones, I still feel is a, is a painting that packs a wallop. She did that in 88 or 89. To have an artist actually take on a theme like that at that time, took a certain amount of chutzpah. So she did this image which has certain connections with Piero and Masaccio and Velasquez and yet reproduced this event in such a way as to make it feel as if it belongs to the present. She has a way of really seeming to create flesh with paint. But it's more than that. There's a certain affection to it, a certain tenderness to the language itself, almost as if painting the body, she's wrapping the body, she's sort of caressing the body. You know, getting to know it in different ways, always while respecting it. 
she relates to the work herself through this sort of passionate process of physical and intellectual involvement. And she gives it back to us in a way that feels personal. I think in the fullest sense, she wants these things to belong to us. Their offerings, their gifts, their sources of knowledge, and they're hopeful. I think that, that that's probably, probably the word hope. There's a, a lot of other ideas that I want to investigate with the black. Artists can be pretty inventive, and I did paint cloud paintings for 25 years, so who knows how long this will last. Karen's been working for 30 or 40 years. She has a true artistic impulse that really comes from a, a need to create and a desire to express herself and find a way that she can call her own. And I think she's done it beautifully, certainly in the black paintings and even before that. I think what she's achieved is every bit as worthy of, of note and of collecting as uh, uh, many people who are celebrities now. Certainly what I admire about her is also what makes me believe in her. Um, this is, these are clearly the paintings of, this, this is who she is. She's really been able to develop a language. And I think it's deepened the works. It's deepened the subject matter. I think there's a sense now when I look at these things that they can go anywhere that they can go anywhere and that she could do anything. So I guess if we come back to this notion of hope, uh, that somewhere that's part of it too. There's really nothing off bounds in painting. So there's a whole sort of language of personal possibility, of narrative possibility, of pictorial possibility that's opened up to her in the last 17 years. I feel responsibility as an artist. We can make a difference. Artists can make a difference. Everything that we do, is appropriate and right to investigate the human being and the human place in the world. I feel like this is our challenge and this is our responsibility to inquire about who we are as human beings and what we can accomplish to make it a better world.